Hey guys, I'm out here in the workshop. This here is the uh, Meinl Make Your Own Cajon Kit that I built a little while back. Um, and I just had a thought, guys. You know, I mean, a cajon's a cool instrument, easy to play, it's fun, you know, you can make some cool stuff with it. But I was like, hey, you know, what if I could do this while I was playing guitar? Like, if I could use this as like a bass drum and play guitar along with it. And I was like, yeah, if I only had a bass pedal. And then I remembered, I do have a bass pedal. So, you know, you've seen this stuff in the studio, but I got a whole storage locker full of crap too. And I went there and sure enough, I got a bass pedal and I can't remember the exact story behind this. One of my coworkers was getting rid of it. Like he didn't like the way it felt or something, but it's a nice bass pedal. It's used, it's got some, some scrapes and scratches on it, but it works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna try to figure out if there's a way that I can get this, first to see if I can hold it, if I can get this to do this. Yeah, this should be pretty cool. Okay, I had hoped that it was just gonna line up perfect, but it doesn't. The bass pedal actually hits, or sits slightly higher than the bottom of the cajon. So um, I was hoping that they just lined up perfectly and I could just put like a little piece of metal there, but not quite. So I'm gonna have to come up with something. I'm gonna have to dig through my parts boxes here. I got a whole bunch of hardware here and see if I can find something. Ah, I may have found the magic piece of hardware. Look at this, just a plain old ordinary door hinge but because it's got that little, you know, play to it, I can probably, I'm gonna have to try, I'll have to prototype it here and figure out how it's gonna work best, but I should be able to find some way that I can get it to line up, let's hope. So let's try it. <laughs> okay, so I just got down to actually trying to do this and I realized I can't find a drum key and I need a drum key to attach this. Um, pretty much everything on a drum you need a drum key for. I know I've got four or five of them, I cannot find them. So. I'm gonna make a run up the street to Guitar Center, uh, see if I can get a drum key and I will be back. Better not forget my mask. Ha, there we go, back from Guitar Center. I guess I don't need that anymore. And I got a drum key. But while I was at Guitar Center, I picked up something else. Check this out. So this is a cajon beater. That's actually what it's made for. You replace the standard beater on your bass drum pedal with this and it's literally made for a cajon. So, I mean, we'll try the regular bass drum pedal first, but I picked it up just in case. I think these are about 20 bucks. I don't have a price tag on it, but it's literally called a uh, Gibraltar Flat Soft Bass Drum Cajon Beater. That's what it's for. Let's try it. Amazing what a drum key does. So, okay. Just prototyping here, but you can see that will definitely hold nice and tight. That hinge will hold nice and tight on the pedal. Now, let's see if we can get it to line up with the drum. Aha, look at this. So, hopefully this will work. It gives us a little angle to work with here. And then it just stays completely out of the way. Now I may have to rig up some sort of a little retainer clip or something, maybe a magnet, I don't know, I'll have to work on that to keep it in the upright. But I checked and you can set it flat and it does not interfere with it sitting flat. That does not sit down lower than the feet. So I think it did it if this works. Okay, so here's what we got. This actually looks like it's gonna work pretty well. This is nicely attached. And let's see what happens here. So put my hand here. Nice. All right, now let's change the beater to that cajon beater because uh, even though this does have a carpet, it's pretty hard. And you can even tell just me hitting it now. It's really like thumpy. So let's see what we can do here. We'll try that. Okay, there we go. The cajon beater is on. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds a lot better. That sounds a lot more like what I was looking for. All right, I guess uh, let's try this thing out. Okay guys, so I know I said that the idea was I could put it in front of me when I'm playing guitar and use this like a bass drum and you could do that. But I just realized something, kind of a happy accident. So I set it down and I was like, hey, what if you still sit on it? And if you sit on it and you kind of sit sideways, then your foot ends up here, but it's like you're using your heel instead of your toe, which is, it's kind of a weird feel, but you can still get that bass drum. So I had one of these, one of these uh, shakers here. So like, check this out. So clearly I'm not a percussionist, but you get the idea. You could kind of make a little basic trap beat with nothing but this and something to keep time with. So hey, added bonus. Let's try it with a guitar though.
That's pretty fun. Okay, well that was a fun day in the workshop. We took a bass pedal that I got for a little bit of nothing, a cajon that I already had, a hinge I had laying around, and we made it happy.